five six eight twenty twenty six eight twenty twenty monthly chart s and p five hundred is coming up to our target we're almost there as we inch up it's a very bull market run but on short term indicators we are overbought but like we said as we go up to hit the upper end of the trend line then we would be more overbought and we inched up today and we hit the high is one of our targets we got right up there to 32 33 so we're gonna have to see what happens at 32 uh 50 and then we have yes 32 uh uh we're gonna take a look and see what happens like we said before 32 what we're gonna take a look and see what happens at 3290 on the s p which we get it that much more overbought and when you have bull market runs and you have a three-month bull trend from the pandemic remember that when we say short-term overbought it, we ran really far really fast and yeah we're hitting our targets to the upside but you have to be aware as we go up and we start hitting these other targets right here and when we start hitting that 32 uh 90 okay that's going to be really the key we'll go ahead hit that 3250 work our way up and then as we hit that monthly shoulder high that is when we'll even reach the weekly overbought process even more so you got to know when to be extremely very careful and when it's going to hit the end of the target so what it's like to have a capitulation upside capitulation where people buy and, and, and missing the fear factor and missing out or anxiety can create low volume frenzy buying is what we call it it's classical when we have a big bull run and this is a bull market and bull market have different stages to tops and the s p is definitely going to come up to one and that's going to be that uh, 3290 now and we're going to really see what happens there and that would put it you know right up there at the top right now the s p bull market is in positive territory for 2020 and for the people that missed it don't chase it we'll see what happens at 3260 We'll see what happens at 32.98, and we'll see what happens at 33 and, yeah, it'd be 33.10. So that is going to propel it up there, everyone. And that will make the weekly chart, though, when we look at the weekly level, that's going to make the weekly level that more in the overbought range when we reach those upper targets in the s p and overbought upside capitulation goes up on headlines bad headlines keeps going up has had the big run once again a recap of the monthly chart we talk about the bull market because that's what this is and it's going to be when bull markets get exhausted they hit the upper targets here and then we see what will happen and we are looking for a good pullback so that we can buy dips again in the s p when given that pullback it will come you just have to be patient and go with the top process the capitulation is to the upside to resistance capitulation upside capitulation s p 500 monthly chart update